with the announcement that the British supplied Starstreak Man Portable Air Defense System, or MANPADS, is ready to be used imminent. Ukraine is prepared to launch a new ground-based air defense system into its conflict against Russia's invasion forces. When fielded in combat, the Starstreak will be the newest addition to the Ukrainian Armed Forces expanding arsenal of comparable systems, which were thoroughly examined in this previous feature. But Starstreak, also known as the High Velocity Missile, incorporates a number of unusual characteristics for a weapon of its kind and is worth further study. In an interview with the Mail on Sunday, UK Defense Secretary Ben Wallace revealed yesterday that Ukraine was about to deploy the Starstreak. Wallace said the initial Ukrainian, when the British Army's call, Graham Taylor, the commander of 7 Air Defense Group, announced that British troops were being sent to a covert location somewhere in Eastern Europe to train Ukrainians how to use the MANPADS. It became clear earlier this month that the UK was going to give Ukraine an unspecified number of star strength. According to the captions of images made public by the UK Ministry of Defense, the incident took place in Poland Call Taylor stated at the time that low-flying enemy fighter jets and helicopters, which have been the primary Russian aerospace forces assets utilized in the conflict thus far, are particularly vulnerable to catastrophic damage from the missile. Although only land-based versions of the Starstreak missile have been fielded operationally, it can be launched from platforms on land, the sea, or the air. The missiles can be integrated into lightweight multiple launchers LML, which can be mounted on light vehicles and carry three ready-to-fire rounds, or they can be launched from the shoulder as is customary with MANPADS on land. For integration on armored vehicles, they can also be offered as box-style launchers. This service, which has been in use with the British Army since 1997, uses crew-served versions of the weapons and mounts the missiles on Stormer-tracked armored vehicles. The Stormer has a roof-mounted targeting package with an infrared sensor, 8 ready-to-fire rounds, 12 reloads, and a total of 24 rounds. The Times reports that both shoulder launcher and LML types have been supplied, contrary to the British Army's claim that only the individual shoulder launcher variant has been given to Ukraine. In either case, both have qualities like portability and lightweightness that make them suitable for use in urban settings as well. The guidance system of Starstreak is the first element that makes it capable. The majority of men use heat-seeking missiles, which must first lock onto their target's heat signature before being launched, and then home in on it on their own in fire and forget mode. Some heat-seeking MANPADs will also need some time for the seeker to cool down before it can lock on, depending on the age of the missile. Although the British Army claims that only the single shoulder launcher variant has been given to Ukraine, the Times claims that both shoulder launcher and LML types have been given. In either case, both have qualities that make them suitable for use in urban settings, such as lightweight and portability. Starstreak's guidance system is the first element that makes it capable. Most men use heat-seeking missiles, which must first lock onto their target's heat signature before they can launch the missile, and then autonomously home in on it in fire and forget mode. Depending on the missile's age, some heat-seeking MANPADs will also need some time for the seeker. In general, this guidance technique is more precise than conventional laser guidance, which paints the target with a single beam. Targets that might otherwise move around and disrupt the laser lock are more difficult to hit with the twin laser method. In addition, the star streak cannot be fooled by flares or other heat sources, unlike infrared-guided MANPADS. Contrary to most air defense missiles, the L-370 Bipes, also known as the President S, is effectively immune to countermeasures, including the most recent DIRCMs found on many Russian Aerospace Forces helicopters. Another benefit is that smaller targets, including those with infrared signatures that may be insufficient for a heat-seeking missile to track, can be engaged as long as the operator can see them through the site. Hey, cat one! Mind which guy? Yeah, we know when the dog's holding on.